continue to follow it. There are new challenges to Hillary Clinton's sworn statement that she turned over all her work-related emails when ordered to. It is the latest leaked information from Clinton's tormentors at WikiLeaks. Chief National Correspondent Ed Henry has that part of the story tonight. Several new emails suggest some of Hillary Clinton's top aides and even her lawyer knew she did not turn over all of her work-related correspondence despite this promise. I responded right away and provided all my emails that could possibly be work-related, which totaled roughly 55,000 printed pages, even though I knew that the State Department already had the vast majority of them. Six days before that vow, Clinton aide Jennifer Palmieri wrote colleagues that Cheryl Mills was close to a deal with the State Department to release those work emails. Yet when ad maven Jim Margolis chimed in, if there is a release of the 55,000, are there others that that are not being released, definitely, replied Chief Strategist Joel Benenson. Also March 4th, advisor Mandy Grunwald pressed Palmieri on how they decided which emails were personal and then deleted. Family and friends? Are Huma, Philippe, Cheryl, etc. included in the 55,000 work-related, asked Grunwald? A critical question, because the same day, March 4th, Republican Trey Gowdy issued a subpoena for Clinton to preserve official email. Huma Abedin, Philippe Rhinus, and Mills were all on the State Department payroll and should have had a lot of official emails. Plus, both Mills and Abedin were paid by the Clinton Foundation while they were at the State Department. So their emails could be important to the FBI investigation of the foundation. At her March 10, 2015 news conference, Clinton did not specify if foundation emails fell on your personal emails about planning Chelsea's wedding or my mother's funeral arrangements condolence notes to friends as well as yoga routines. A week later, after another damaging New York Times story about what was personal, Palmieri wrote on March 17th, strikes me as a big problem that the NYT is having selected emails leaked to them. Rhinus jumped in, there is nothing wrong with anyone having personal email addresses or her emailing someone's private account or vice versa. We're allowed to have personal lives. When someone suggested they set up a call to discuss, Palmieri, who has been quoted in other emails blasting the Catholic Church, said, praise Jesus, please do. Then, in August 2015, Clinton's personal lawyer, David Kendall, urged Clinton aides to edit a fact sheet claiming all work emails starting in March 2009 were turned over. Kendall writing, we know there were other emails using the ClintonEmail.com address prior to that date. Could we make this more vague? The problem is, the very same day that her lawyer wrote that, August 8, 2015, Hillary Clinton was dealing with a public records lawsuit, and she swore, under the penalty of perjury, that all of her work-related emails were provided to the State Department. Brett? Ed, Why don't you wake up and smell what you're shoveling?